Good morning, and I invite all the children, uh, young at heart, young in age, to gather around for our time together on the steps. I brought a glass with me this morning, and you can see I didn't fill it all the way to the top, but it's about halfway full. And you might be saying, Pastor Ann, why didn't you fill all the way to the top? Because I want to show you something. It's a way that we can think about lots of different things in our lives, not just a glass of water or a glass of milk or a glass of juice. But sometimes people will look at this glass and they'll say, huh, look, the glass is half full of water. And that's true. But then other times people will look at it and say, but wait, it's, this glass is half empty of water. It's not all the way to the top. And that would be right also. So both are true, that it's a glass that's half full of water, but it's also a glass that is half empty. And when we think about situations in our life, we have a choice. We can look at them and we can say, it's not the way I want it, it's not perfect, it's not ideal, it wasn't my dream to have it this way. Or we can look at it and say, but wow, I'm really grateful for what it is. And the Apostle Paul, as we've been reading through his letter that he wrote from prison, in the last chapter that Pastor Don is going to preach on today, he writes this to his friends in Philippi. He says, do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And that is the secret, thanksgiving. God wants us to have grateful hearts so that no matter what we're going through, we know that Jesus is with us and that God is watching over us, and so we can be thankful. And we're going through really difficult times right now with the pandemic and the restrictions placed upon us. Your parents may have to be working from home, working remotely, so that's difficult, but it also means that you get to see more of them and you have more time together as a family. So that would be the glass half full. So as you go through the rest of the summer and into the fall, when situations happen and you think, well, it's not exactly what I wanted, it's not perfect, it's not what I dreamed about, think about how you might be thankful for what you do have and see that the glass or, or the situation, whatever is happening is, is half full. There is water in the glass, and for that we can be thankful. Will you pray with me? Loving God, we are grateful that you continue to walk with us, and that we know Jesus loves us. No matter what we go through, help us to be grateful and to have thankful hearts for all that you have given us. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. <laughs> 